Bless you, honey. And this song is about being ready. Amen. Being ready for our own time, when it's time to step into glory. And also being ready that when some of our loved ones step into glory ahead of us, that they know we're going to be right behind them. That they have that assurance when they take their last breath is that I'm following you. We'll be right along just here in a minute. And this is I'll see you on the other side. A single tear rolled down his face as he took his final breath. The family all Lord gathered there as he closed his eyes in death. Final words were spoken earlier than night. He said, If you know Jesus, then this is not goodbye. Cause I'll see you on the other side. And I'll be waiting with my arms open wide. We'll only be apart for a little while. Then I'll see you on the other side. I stood there with the others and I thank the Lord above that this godly man and mama taught me of God's love. Now he may not have heard me as he left this world that day, but it was such a blessing that I could stand and say, well I'll see you on the other I said unto Moses. 
From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even under the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and under the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Amen. I will not fail thee, Amen. nor forsake thee. Be strong and have a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. You may be seated, let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, for the peace in your house tonight. Lord, I want to thank you for peace in our soul, Lord. It's only by thy mercy and only by thy grace. Lord, it's not because of anything we've done, Lord, or anything we could deserve, but Lord, we just thank you that your mercies are new every morning. Yeah. Lord, that you said that our inner man can be renewed day by day. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the love of your people, Lord, and for the, as we said a moment ago, Lord, for the godly examples that you've given us, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, I believe your will has been done in your house tonight, Lord. And I pray, Lord, as we come to this part of the service that we'd not make a mess of that. But, Lord, I pray, Lord, as always, that you give us the words that are needful for the hour. Lord, that you anoint our lips. That you give us the ability, Lord, to preach thy word in the power of the flesh. But most of all, Lord, in the power of the Spirit tonight. Lord, that our words would not be heard, but, Lord, that your sweet Holy Spirit would sit down in every row, Lord, and preach that message that's needful for each of us to hear. Lord, we'll lift up Brother Clarence tonight, Lord, as I figure he's standing at about the same place right now. Lord, I Amen. ask you to give him a special anointing, a special blessing tonight. Amen. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you dwell with us, Lord, that you preach that message that's needful in each of our hearts tonight. That it'd never be about us and them, but Lord, it'd be about all of us in the power of thy holy word. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Now, last week, I promise y'all, I didn't plan it this way. I actually didn't realize it until I was working on video editing this afternoon and, and, and realized what was happening. Uh, last week, uh, uh, Brother Clarence uh, uh, preached out of Numbers chapter 13. Uh, and you all remember, that's uh, when the children of Israel were uh, uh, about to or had the opportunity to uh, uh, cross over into the Promised Land, into Canaan, uh, the first time. And, of course, we know, of course, uh, what happened then, uh, 10 out of the 12 spies forgot what was said in 13, ver chapter 13 and verse number 2 when it said, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. And so those ten that were that brought back the evil report, they, uh, we know they turned the hearts of the people uh, uh, so that they were not willing then to enter in. Now then, in our scripture tonight, I'm going to take our text verse from verse number 2. It said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land again, which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. So now, uh, uh, we know what happened then when they refused to enter in uh, the first time. Uh, uh, the Lord sent them back into the wilderness and we know uh, that He told them that they would be out there for 40 years uh, uh, until all of those who were adults at that time uh, that had decided that they were not going to enter in uh, 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 had passed on uh, and, and it would be their children then uh, uh, that would be entering in. And, and so then in our scripture tonight, uh, uh, we find that the, what's happening now is that that wilderness journey, that 40 year uh, uh uh, wandering around uh, uh, is now over and this time they are about to actually enter, actually cross over Jordan into that land uh, 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 of milk and honey as the Bible would say. Uh, uh, that land that flowed with milk and honey. That land that was promised to them uh, uh, and which the Lord said which I give unto you. They were going into what the Lord had promised them. 
So what we want to preach on tonight for just a moment is this. It is time to cross over. It is time to cross over. Now, when we talk about the wilderness, what we always, or at least maybe maybe just me, but what I'm always thinking of uh, uh, when I talk about Israel in the wilderness is I'm thinking about uh, that 40-year journey. Uh, uh, when I say, uh, 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 when we reference the wilderness, uh, uh, we always think of it as being a, a, a form of, uh, I don't want to say judgment, they were still God's people. Uh, uh, understand that, well, we'll get there in a minute. Thank you, Lord. Uh, 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 chastisement, let's say it that way. Uh, 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 I always think of it as a, as a form of, uh, of chastisement. Uh, and that's where my mind is when I think about the wilderness. I, I think about them uh, uh, going to Kadesh Barnea, uh, refusing to cross over, uh, and then that 40 years that they're wandering uh, as a chastisement, that's what I think of in the, in the wilderness. And so then, when we think of it like that, we tend to think of the wilderness then only as a place of judgment or a place of chastisement. And of course then... Oh, I understand. Uh, uh, the New Testament would say uh, uh, that all these things happen for our examples. And so then when we apply that, uh, uh, if, we, if, we, if that's the only way uh, uh, that we think about the wilderness, uh, uh, and we apply that spiritually uh, uh, in our own life, now, now don't, thank you Lord, don't think I'm trying to tell you that it's an allegory. They walked for 40 years in the wilderness. Uh, uh, the, the, it's not uh, uh, just a parable. Uh, 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 but it's a, a real event uh, with real application, okay? Uh, uh, let me just say it that way. Uh, uh, and so then when we apply that spiritually, uh, if all we think of the wilderness as is that 40-year journey, uh, uh, does that mean a judgment? Uh, does that mean because of sin? Uh, 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 we, we, we begin to think that if we're walking through a wilderness experience in our life, then we are in judgment or chastisement. That if, if we're not feeling in that day uh, 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 maybe joy unspeakable and full of glory, uh, 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 if, if, if our cup is not running over at that moment, uh, 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 we begin to think, uh, uh, if we're facing something uh, uh, that we don't think we should be facing, uh, let me say it that way, uh, uh, then we begin to think, uh, well, I've done something wrong. Uh, and even worse than that, uh, uh, we'll begin to think if somebody else is having a problem, uh, if somebody else is having a struggle, uh, uh, if somebody else is going through a, a, a hard time in their life, we'll begin to think they've done something wrong too. But see, that's not a complete understanding right. of the wilderness. We get the idea that because Israel went back into the wilderness after refusing to enter Canaan that the Lord had never intended for them to be in the wilderness. But that's not true. See, Israel didn't leave Egypt and immediately enter Canaan. The, the Lord rolled back the Red Sea uh, 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 and they walked across on dry ground and you, uh, uh, in our mind we think uh, uh, after an experience like that they're already where they're supposed to be. They're already where they're headed. But they weren't. See, it required a journey to get there. Amen. And guess where that journey went through? The wilderness. Exodus 16 and 32 just to prove that. And Moses said, now this, is, this is before the, uh, the giving of the law. This is uh, obviously before Kadesh Barnea. Uh, uh, but he says this, and Moses said, this is the thing which the Lord commanded, fill an omer of it. Uh, uh, and he's, uh, when he says it here, he's talking about the manna, uh, the bread which came down from heaven. Uh, 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 this is the thing which the Lord commanded, fill an omer of it to be kept for your generations, that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness. Amen. When I brought you forth from the land of Egypt. So they were in the wilderness before they got to Kadesh Barnea. So being in the wilderness in and of itself couldn't have been a judgment. The Lord has just brought them out of Egypt. <laughs> so the wilderness itself, they're exactly where the Lord sent them. They're exactly, uh, uh, the Lord rolled back the Red Sea. There's only one way across. Uh, where they ended up on the other side uh, uh, of crossing the Red Sea is the wilderness. Uh, they're exactly uh, uh, where the Lord intended them to be. 
to get the law. Guess where the Lord took him? Into the wilderness. Amen. For him to write the Ten Commandments out with the hand of God on tablets of stone. Guess where that happened? In the wilderness at Sinai. Guess what happened? Where they were when they saw the cloud by day and they saw the fire by night. They saw the protection of God behind them and the leading of God before them. Guess where they saw that? It wasn't in Canaan. They saw that in the wilderness. Amen. And so, oftentimes we portray the wilderness as representing a chastisement. But here's what I really believe it is instead. A trial. It doesn't represent a chastisement. It represents a trial. And 1 Peter 1 and 7 says this about a trial. That the trial of your faith yes. being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Yes. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. Now it don't make a trial pleasant. Clarence always uses the example of a vice. He says, oh, it says, one hand's tied behind my back, the other hand's in a vice. I know what the problem is. I can see the vice. I, I know I'm in a trial. Let me put it, put it where I'm trying to describe it. Uh, but that don't make it uh, uh, any less painful knowing your hand's in the vice. Uh, 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 it does not make a trial uh, uh, an easy experience. Uh, it does not make your wilderness journey uh, not the wilderness still. Uh, uh, but we've got to understand that it's always uh, a, a trial brought on the Lord by the Lord uh, is always for our benefit. They, while they were there, now we, if we flip over, let me find it here. In Joshua chapter 4 and verse number 12, Israel has crossed over Jordan now. And it says this, And the manna ceased on the morrow, after they had eaten of the old corn of the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more. But they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And what a blessing that is to eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan. Amen. But living day by day in the wilderness, where the Lord brought them food every day, not enough for the next day, but one day at a time, was designed to teach them one thing, that the Lord would provide everything that they needed. Uh, uh, when they needed water, uh, he'd bring them water out of a rock. Uh, uh, he set up this trial uh, 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 to educate them. The wilderness, uh, uh, we look at it always uh, in our own life as a place of punishment. Uh, oh, but it's a place of teaching. Uh, uh, it's a place of instruction. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, 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 it's a place for us to learn to live by his commandments. Uh, we already said uh, uh, that's where they got the law. Uh, uh, they didn't receive the law after they crossed into Canaan. Uh, 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 the Lord wrote on the those tablets of stone uh, up on Mount Sinai, uh, where? Uh, uh, in the wilderness. Uh, uh, that's where they learned to worship. Uh, uh, he gave the Levitical law uh, and all the sacrifices, not after they crossed into Canaan, uh, 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 but there uh, in the wilderness, uh, in our life, uh, in our trial, is where we'll learn to praise Him. Uh, 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 amen. Uh, uh, when everything ain't hunky dory, uh, uh, when there are problems, uh, uh, when there are struggles, uh, uh, when we do have an issue, uh, 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 that's where we'll learn. Uh, uh, to perfect praise. Uh, uh, amen. In our life, uh, uh, where we'll learn to live godly in Christ Jesus uh, is not on the sunny day when the birds are singing uh, and the fish are biting. Uh, uh, where we'll learn to live godly in Christ Jesus uh, uh, is when the uh, the boss is grumping, uh, uh, the work's not done, uh, uh, and you need a nap. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, that's where we'll learn to live godly amen. in Christ Jesus. Amen. But they didn't learn enough to exit the trial in Numbers chapter 13 where Brother Clarence read last week. That's why we always think of the wilderness as being a judgment. But the wilderness itself wasn't the judgment. Not being able to exit the wilderness was a judgment. Amen. Clarence always says it like this and I can't do no better. I love it. So that's why I can't do no better. We can't take a two-week trial and make it a one-week trial. 
The Lord has a set amount of time that it's going to take Amen. that much. But we can take a two-week trial and make it a two-month trial by refusing to learn yes. what the Lord has for us to yes. learn. And so remember tonight, we'll close here in a minute, we're preaching on it, it's time to cross over. See, they had gone out to the point, thank you Lord, the Lord didn't give me the rest of the notes for this when I was leaving the house, He said, I'll give it to you when you get there. And so I just had to trust Him. Sometimes I just got to trust Him. Amen. 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 See, He had to do something. He had to cut off the dross. And in this case, it was a harsh cutting off of the dross. Because the dross was people, in this case, that refused to enter into Canaan. It was people this time. See, I'm glad in our life, uh, uh, you don't have to cut me off completely. But in this case, those people refused to enter. And so his, the trial was to send them back in. And just as that refiner's fire, you apply the heat and the dross rises to the top and he takes that, I don't even know what you call it, knife of some kind, I don't think that's the right word for it, but knife of some kind and scoops that off. And so in this case, in the children of Israel's case, he had to cut off those that was above a certain age before he could take the rest in. In our life though, Let's put that down spiritually. Sometimes we have to be back in the wilderness until he can cut off some unbelief. Yes. Sometimes we have to go be back in the wilderness until he can cut off some self-reliance. Yes. Some refusal to believe that it's the land which he gives us. Some refusal to believe that he'll supply all our need. See, they had this thought Thank you, Lord. The reason that they always that they always went back to that they wouldn't cross over, they would always say it was easier in Egypt. It was easier when they were slaves. Sure. So until we say whatever God has on the other side of that river is better than whatever I had before. Amen. We can't cross over. Amen. Until we say in our life, uh, 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 and this is not a one-time experience, uh, I'm not talking about salvation tonight. Uh, uh, amen, I believe, uh, and I feel comfortable saying this tonight, uh, uh, that everybody here tonight in the age of accountability is saved. Uh, uh, I've known y'all long enough to believe that. Uh, 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 but what I'm talking about is you've already left Egypt. Uh, 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 but sometimes we're still back in the trial. And being back in the trial is sometimes the will of God. Let me, let me prove my point about the, the wilderness representing a trial with the New Testament. It says Matthew 4 and 1, Then was Jesus led of the Spirit, where? Into the wilderness. To be tempted of the devil. It was the Lord's will that He go out and be tried. But at the end of that trial, he exited the wilderness. Yeah. Yes. I also want to be able to exit when it's the Lord's will. Amen. When, it's, when He says, uh, 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 when He has provided all the things that I was supposed to learn, I want to learn them so I can exit. I want to borrow the trial so I can move on into Canaan Bless and give it you, back. Man. That's Amen. good. Let us pray. Lord, Heavenly Father. Amen. Thank you. I thank you, Lord, for telling us at times that it's time to cross over. Lord, I pray you take the message and apply it to all of our hearts, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, thou knowest this evening. Yes, Lord. Bless. Lord, I pray, Lord, tonight that if we're in the wilderness, Lord, if any of us, Lord, be in the wilderness, Lord, of a trial, Lord, that, that Lord, you've tried to show us and you've tried to teach us. And, Lord, Sometimes I'm hard-headed, Lord. Okay, Lord, all the time I'm hard-headed. <laughs> but Lord, I pray we'd be willing, Lord, to learn. Amen. We'd be willing to trust. Help us, Lord. Lord, because I know you'll take care of the rest if we're just willing. Help yes. us, Lord. Thank you.
Thank you, Jesus. Lord, understood so. That we can cross over into the land that you give us. Thank you, Lord. Lord, that land of joy. That land of peace. That land, Lord, that spiritually speaking flows with, amen, uh, with the sincere milk of the word, Lord. Uh, 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 amen. We thank you, Lord, for it. And I pray we live there, Lord. And Lord, that the next time, Lord, that you send us into the wilderness, Lord, because we believe there'll be another time. Lord, we don't believe that we're done with trials in this life because you said, Lord, in this world we will, shall have tribulation. Lord, I pray, Lord, we'd go in, Lord, with the intent of being there when you want us to be, for as long as you want us to be, and no longer, Lord. That we'd be thankful, Lord, for the joy in the wilderness, Lord. We'd be thankful, Lord, for your daily provision, Lord, uh, uh, for your mercies that are new every morning, Lord, uh, for great is thy faithfulness. Amen. But, Lord, at your appointed time, we'd go eat the good of the land. We love you, Lord. I pray you take the message and apply it to our hearts, Lord. You make it make sense in every heart. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.